Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chantel and I have been on a weight loss journey for about a year now. Well longer, but I've been documenting my weight loss journey for a year now. And just recently on June 13th, I got gastric sleeve surgery for weight loss. I'm craving so much water right now, so I got a cup of ice. I'm finally to the point where I can actually take a drink not chug but take a drink instead of just like a tiny sip so like that's really exciting gather all my vitamins and then i organize them in my little vitamin thing which i highly recommend because sometimes you take so many vitamins i bought this on amazon it comes in like a little case and then you open it and then you have vitamins for all of the days and i did the one with the three so i like to split them up into three because one it's really hard for me take all these vitamins at once like I used to be able to pop pills back and like ibuprofen anyway like pop them back take them all at once and now it's like I need to take one pill or one vitamin at a time and then yeah so I'm just gonna open all of them and then I got a million vitamins I need to organize out I already took mine for the morning so that one's done and then it's basically lunch period now but i'll take these soon and then i have some for right before bed so i have my multivitamin that i got and i pretty much got all these um vitamins that i purchased um from home i got all these from target you can honestly go wherever they have it during our meeting our nutrition meeting at eoc they gave us a whole list on the, what's it called? What is it called? I think it's like the overhead, like they did a pretty much like a presentation and they had like a list of like all the vitamins you need to take and how much of each you need to take a day. So I'll put that on the screen here so you're able to see. So that's basically what I was looking for when I was at the store buying vitamins. And my multivitamin for women if you're a male, you might want to get one for male. <laughs> um, I got this one. Acid reflux, I think. Um, I got this one from EOC, the pharmacy down in Tijuana. They give you a prescription. Um, they pretty much give you a binder once you get back to the hotel in the EOC office. And like the, one of the drivers will go over all the different prescriptions you can get, what you should get, what, what's recommended. Um, and I guess like definitely get this one. I bought three boxes of it because it's cheaper in Mexico. And that way I'm set and plus you're gonna have to take it for at least six months anyway. So I got a six month supply. I got my vitamin D. I got B12, biotin plus keratin. And then I got calcium, magnesium, and zinc. And then it has vitamin D in it as well, but but they gave me an antibiotic, so I already finished all of those. The only time that I took this was when I had to drop my mom off at the airport and I got a headache from crying too much. I ended up getting two of these because when I, pretty much, I had so much nausea. Like that was the one symptom that I really had really bad. I've been so nauseous. I was so nauseous, I would take these right away. But I haven't opened up my second box yet. He recommended that we get this even though I haven't had an issue with it for your wounds. A bottle like this so it helps um, prevent any, any infection or anything. So you pretty much just take it off, take the lid off and just spray it directly onto like your incisions. <laughs> Morning guys, I hope everyone's having a good day. Let me move this. 
All right, so it is July 2nd. It is a Saturday, but I always start off with water. I always hydrate. I always have some type of liquid as soon as I wake up. When I wake up, my mouth is usually like super dry. So the first couple weeks, I was only able to like sip water, like basically only coat my tongue with water and then that was it. But now I can take like swigs, but I don't chug. I definitely don't chug. When I cut things into smaller pieces, I can eat with like a children's utensil and then, um, what the heck is on here? I actually eat a lot less or I eat a lot slower um, when I'm eating with the toddler utensils. I just put all these tenders in my Tupperware, which I should have done. But I'm gonna just grab some of these pieces here. I made some smaller for myself and then I made some bigger for Corey. Chew like really slow. I can eat like pretty good now. I try to pace myself that way I know like if my stomach is gonna agree with it or not but honestly during these stages it's more so like it's more so like the experimental stage where you don't know what your body's gonna agree with so what's gonna agree with my body will be completely different um, than what your body agrees with but I just started introducing watermelon, so this is my second time having it. Just because basically you're supposed to wait till I think you're about like four weeks post-op to have watermelon. Ugh, you can see like the air is coming up. So like that thing, I just, I don't like it, but I mean, it's something you just deal with. So I've been walking at the gym. I told you every single time, don't you worry. You would always call me at the wrong time. And I've been going on elliptical, but I haven't been lifting weights. We're just going to wait for the six week mark before we do that. Um, I know I could normally usually eat three bites if I'm having like a solid food, but since it's watery, I thought I could probably have a little bit more, but I can't. So this is pretty much what is left over. Yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Don't you be afraid Just follow me You don't need no space Just follow me Like a mirror you reflect me Okay, so for lunch, I'm gonna have one black and tender with the Popeye's um, barbecue sauce. I just cut it into small pieces, that way I don't take too big of a bite. All right, don't be mad at me, but it's July 3rd, so I actually didn't even have a proper dinner last night. I left off with that black and tender and I literally passed out in my bed for about two hours afterwards. I don't know what it was. It made me super drowsy, super tired, and I just passed out. And plus, I didn't even eat all that chicken. I left like a few bites um, still in the bowl, but I just threw it away because I have so many tenders anyway. Then I woke up and it was a little bit later and I ended up FaceTiming two girls and um yeah i went to the movies i saw the new minion movie that movie was so cute and so funny did i even eat this morning no i didn't even eat this morning at all actually and it's already it's already noon i haven't had anything i know i should have some with protein i was thinking about making eggs with guac again but i just am not in the mood to make that i don't want to dirty up a whole frying pan and I just don't feel like eating eggs right now. Like eggs aren't my favorite food anymore. Like I just don't care to eat it. Uh, I know I shouldn't be eating this, but I'm really craving something with cheese and I really want a spiral noodle. So I'm gonna have the, the mac and cheese. 
So I ended up making that mac and cheese and the second it was finished, the scent just, ugh, I can't. Like I feel so nauseous now. Now I don't even wanna eat anything. So I'm not gonna eat anything because I think I'm gonna throw up if I try. So I might just try to sip on some water and just relax. I do want to go back to the gym and just walk a little bit, but if I'm going to throw up, I should, probably should not go outside. So I'm just going to stay home for a little bit and see if I feel better. I need to put this away because this scent is just not doing it for me. Okay, so I did feel super sick after making that, but then I went and like laid down a little bit and just sat on my phone. I'm feeling a little bit better right now. I don't feel nauseous. I just, I'm trying to eat this same thing, this mac and cheese. Um, just take a couple bites. It's not like it smells bad or anything. It's just something about it just didn't make me want to stomach it. So I think this will be enough. So I'm just going to take this much and we'll see how much I can eat. Thank you so much for watching my first update. This has been week one to three. I start week four tomorrow. So I'm going to end the video here. I know it's cut a little short, but I hope I gave you guys a little bit of insight on what to expect from week one to three. So just a recap, um, I've started taking my vitamins the second I got home and I was able to take the vitamins. I waited basically until i found out exactly which vitamins from the whole meeting at eoc until i got them but you know drinking is getting better eating is getting better just continue to follow um, the diet structure that you're supposed to don't start something too soon um, if your body isn't ready for it yet just take it slow chew your food and just know you're relearning to eat again. Your body needs to adjust and your mental hunger is gonna be a lot stronger than your physical hunger. So just learning how to do that. Someone who comes from a binge eating disorder, I mean, it's been an adjustment, but honestly, I don't regret the surgery at all. I'm actually really happy with my results. And as of today, I'm actually down 38 pounds since May 23rd and today is July 3rd. So. Just stay consistent, don't be too focused on the scale, just eat the portions that your body is allowing you to, just stay as hydrated as possible. And that's pretty much it for the first three weeks. Like your body's learning what it can and cannot tolerate. So all I would suggest is take it slow, try one food at a time, everything's gonna be okay, you know? There's going to be times where you feel like, should I have done the surgery? Should I have not done the surgery? But looking back as a whole, I am very happy that I did it because I spent the whole year of 2021 trying my hardest to lose weight, working out every day after work, changing my whole diet, making sure that I don't eat certain foods because I knew that I was going to gain weight from it. I just felt so trapped in my body. And if I'm being completely honest with you, I've lost more weight in the past month than I have the whole entire year last year. And all thanks to VSG. It's not easy. I'm not saying that get the surgery, you're going to lose the weight. It's the easy way out. I'm not saying that because mentally this is the most difficult thing that I've ever had to do. However, I was not getting the results that I wanted and this is really a great tool to help me get to where I want to be. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to continue to share my journey with you guys. Thank you for everyone who's been super supportive and who's reached out to me commenting on my videos. You guys don't go unnoticed and I really appreciate it and I hope that you take something from anything I can give you. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm hoping to get it up within another week. I took some time and I didn't exactly update you guys a little bit faster. It's just there's not much to update you guys on and I wanted to give it some time and give my body some time to heal before I let you know my input on the whole surgery. So thank you again for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!